See what? Are you okay? What am I supposed to be looking at? I finished brushing my teeth, and since my brush still had some toothpaste left on it, I figured I'd clean my ears. You cleaned your ears with a toothbrush? Yep. Anyway, I'm scrubbing away in my right ear. With your toothbrush? I would never use my own toothbrush in my ear. You used mine again, didn't you? Yeah, and I dug out this. You pulled out a piece of your own brain. What if it was an important piece? Highly doubtful. Nope, I recognize that taste. It's earwax. Ah! This is what you wanted us to see? Must have been growing in there for ages. Getting bigger and bigger, waxier and waxier. Grosser and grossier. Do you know what this means? You have mega hygiene issues? I need to start hiding my toothbrush. Yes and yes, but no. What it means is this. The earwax elf is coming! The earwax... Elf? I hope I can sleep with this big waxy ball under my pillow. The earwax? Elf. Betty's never seen earwax like this before. Icky and sticky. Who and gooey got a fist full of wax for the earwax elf. Wait, the earwax elf? Right. Come on, the elf who knows if you've been good or bad, and if your chunk of wax is big enough and reward you or it. No, doesn't ring a bell. Seriously? You guys have never heard of the earwax elf? No. And do you want to know why? Because there's no such thing! There is so! And I can prove it. How? Years ago, I found a piece of earwax and put it under my pillow. Wait, why? Well, where else was I supposed to put it? Sorry, continue. The next morning, when I woke up, I was surrounded by presents. I even remember the date, March Ember 43rd. Wait a minute. Isn't that your birthday? Made it even sweeter. Okay, so you think if you put that big blob of disgusting ear gunk under your pillow tonight... Presents! And with a chunk of wax like this, I'm sure they're gonna be big ones. Okay, good luck with that. Do you really think he's gonna come, Howie? I know he's gonna come. Tell you what, whatever the earwax elf brings me, I'll share with you. Really? 50-50? More like 90-30, and I got dibs on the best stuff. Good night, buddy. Night. Who said that? You wax elf? Uh, that was me. Oh, right. Sorry. A little excited here. <laughs> Night. Night! Who said that? Earwax elf! You're still me, Howie. Hey, the earwax elf. He isn't scary looking or dangerous, is he? I don't know. I've never seen him. No one has. Except Duck. Hi, earwax elf. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Lucky Duck. <laughs> Oh, Octo, so young and sleepy. Not like me. I'm the kind of guy who can... <laughs> ...stay up all night. <laughs> he didn't come! <gasps> Funny. No elf wax smushed. No present sheets ruined. Need sandwich. <laughs> There can only be one reason why he didn't come last night. Maybe he was mopping. Fine. Two reasons. One, that. Two, because someone did something naughty and the earwax elf put the banana cabana on his do not visit list. But who? If you ask me, I think it's Narwhal's fault. My fault? But I'm a star loved by millions. Thousands? Hundreds. Do I hear tens? Um... She did it. What? I couldn't have done it. I'm way too slow. Completely speed impaired? Snail-like. Um, I was gonna say cute. What about Octo? He looks guilty. Me? What? No, maybe it was Piggy. Piggy no fault. Fuzzy Big Tooth thing's fault. Fine. I'll take all the responsibility for the earwax elf not showing up with a load of presents. Can we let it go now? Cool your jets and decompress, Hepcats. We didn't get to hear how he say it wasn't his fault. Time to sing. Ding-a-ling. I don't have to say it wasn't my fault because it wasn't my fault. It wasn't like I tried a stunt yesterday that went really wrong and I went flying through the lobby completely out of control, clobbering each and every one of you as I... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. Howie, this is all your fault! It was me! I'm why the earwax elf didn't come last night. So what are you gonna do, Howie? The only thing I can do, I have to undo the bad that made the elf mad. Then the earwax elf will come. I just know it. Come on. Hey, Sloth, let's
Let me get that. You're so helpful, Howie. <gasps> You're all set. Thanks, Howie. Go, go. <laughs> glad I could help. And I bet the earwax elf is glad, too. The opposite of open, please. How can I help, Duck? The door is on vacation. No problemo. Hmm. Up wire, down wire, cheesy elevator music wire, open door wire, everyone staring at the door and not talking wire. Aha! Here it is. Closed door wire. Splendid. Make sure you tell the earwax self how awesome I am. Ow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Funny doors. Wop, wop, we lop, we lop, we. They put cheese all over me. Yeah, they dance with them and they dance with me. Cheese on my knees. Thank you and good night. Encore, encore. Really? I'd love to do one more set. Chilla what, chilla what, chilla what, chilla. Don't shave a banana with your eyes. That's a weird song, but it's all I got left. All right, thank you, everybody. Good night. Encore, encore. More? My throat's getting a little sore. One more set. What does it mean when it smells like that? You gotta see your doctor! Encore! Encore! Oh, hey, baby. What are you doing? Just trying to make amends. Encore! Encore! Hey, hey! Holy hey! Got a horn on my head. Not feeling great. Oh, tonsils. <laughs> What an entertainer! Whoa! <coughs> I don't think this is a good idea! Sure it is! I'll really impress the earwax out by helping you overcome your fears! Yeah, I know you're trying to help me, but why are we trying to overcome them all at once? Because after today, you'll never be afraid of the three biggies! Heights, the dark, and Brussels sprouts! But my biggest fear is getting pushed out of an airplane! Even better! That's four fears gone at once! <laughs> Another good deed done! Someone has got to put an end to this! Get away from my pony. Oh, those teeth are so strong. Big <laughs> dick in you. Constrict me. Ow! Earwax elf, you really do exist. How he was telling the truth about you. You're plumper than I thought you'd be. Kind of like my friend Bunny. I'm not plump. I have athletic thighs. Right. From carrying all that wax. <laughs> oh, thank you, Earwax Elf. I thought he'd smell waxier. He came! He came! Everybody, come see what he brought me. <laughs> Shaggy bunny thing, forget to shave. <laughs> Bet you feel pretty silly now. You were right. I was wrong. Totally wrong. Couldn't have been any wronger. I mean, you were so wrong. Just open the presents. Cotton tips? Okay, what's this? Wow! Isn't that my horn polisher? Awesome! Biggie back scratcher! Uh, hey! Arthur's got a first aid kit just like this! Not anymore! And finally, um. Looks like a potato masher. I always keep one by my bed. Yeah, just in case. Wow! Thank you, Earwax Elf! Yes, yes, thank you, Earwax Elf! And now everything can get back to normal around here! I saw him last night, you know. Really? But I'm not so sure it was the real earwax elf. Uh, who do you think it was? You. Me? Why? 
Uh, you still got earwax on your paws. <laughs> Thanks for making my best buddy happy. Any time. Wow! Would you look at the size of the booger that just dropped out of my nose? The booger elf job is all yours. I know this is a big decision, guys, but we have to make it now. We either eat lunch here, enjoying Piggy's sumptuous buffet, or at our favorite dining establishment, the Fruity Noodle Hut. Oh, no. What should we do? Well, let's see. Here, it's free. There, we pay. Here, we don't have to go anywhere. There, we're not here. Ah, Piggy need dog thing's mouth. Cry, baby guest. Oh, Piggy stew, make up, set tummy. You eat, tell guest to yummy. Fruity Noodle Hut it is, then. Tastes delicious. So there I was, hanging upside down, and this fork was lodged in my... Whoa! A fork lodged in your whoa? I don't believe it. Don't look. Wait. Okay. Now look. Is that... Dark Danger? It sure looks like him. And only someone who suffered repeated head damage could yodel like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to ask for an autograph, but I don't want to disturb him while he... <laughs> ...sets the table? Is he working here? I've got to find out. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice. I know you're busy. This is amazing! I can't believe it's you! Dirk Danger, world famous stunter! Oh, my friend, you are sadly mistaken. I am a humble boss boy. But you're wearing a cape. Many boss boys wear the capes. You even kind of talk like him. And I hear polka music. No music being played. Tragically, the famous and handsome Dirk Danger has hung up his helmet for good. No more stunting for him ever, never again. What? But you can't quit. You're the best stunter of all time. Yes, but sadly, Dirk is having the stunter's block. Stunter's block? Cannot think of a single new crazy thing to do for adoring fans watching. Now I, meaning he, is retired, living in cave alone. Danger, away! How could the best stunter ever retire? That'd be like me saying I've done everything there is to do as a hotel manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Howie. Wait, now that I think about it, I have. Oh, he was serious. That's it. I must leave the hotel business and devote my life to helping Dirk get unblocked. Did he just quit? Quit? I didn't know he did anything. Oh, come on. Howie's a great manager. He's responsible and... Food fight! <laughs> <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> Hello, Dirk? I am not home and not Dirk! Uh, you've got your logo on this big rock you're using as a door. Many rocks have logo of Dirk Danger. Can I come in? Only if you are knowing top secret password. Is it top secret password? Ah, I am needing to come up with something harder to guess. <laughs> wow, I'm actually in the top secret hidden hermit layer of Dirk Danger, world's greatest stunter. Ex stunter. Wearing fuzzy slippers with, what is that, mustard? <laughs> I'll never forget this moment. Nice for a young fan to say hello, but I am now living life as Happy Hermit. Alone. But you don't have to be alone anymore. I've given up running my hotel to help cure you. You are doing what? Even better. I'm moving in to work with you 24-6. 24-6? I take Fridays off. Will that be a problem? Cramped, but cozy. I got dibs on the top crack in the wall. Hey, hear that? Ooh, cool echo. Here, I'll go ee, and you go ah! Please, hermits do not have it, the roommates. This is gonna be amazing. We're gonna bond like crazy. Do you have a bathroom in this cave or should I just go anywhere? So, what did Howie do around here? I never saw him check in a guest or clean anything. Or clean a guest who was checking in. Come on now, just a little scrubby scrub. Sloth, do you know what Howie does around here? Are you kidding? What doesn't he do? I even saw him fixing the balcony yesterday. Ah, uh, 
scratch that. Here, drink this. You know how you said you couldn't get the creative juices flowing? There you go, creative juices. Drink up. How are these creative juices made? I boiled your old costume. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, I've got some great ideas for new stunts. Want me to show them to you? Huh? Huh? Ooh, I have an idea. I'll play your accordion. That'll inspire you. Huh, this is trickier than I thought. Oh, oh, come on home! Come on home! Say, why don't we go outside so you can be showing me some stunts? Will you? But I'm just starting to get the hang of it. All right, what if you juggled... A family of electric eels with my tongue? Ah! Oh. And they said I'd never be somebody. Done it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I bet you've never been sealed in a box. Had them drop the world's largest glue ball on me? Oh my. <laughs> now that's a good a good a. <laughs> Who hasn't seen that old stunt by now? Oh. Thanks, B, for your trying. Wait, I've got one more. You are not the giving up, are you? I'm your biggest fan. I've seen all your stunts, bought all your memorabilia. I even have a box of your limited edition explosive postage stamps. <coughs> I must say yes, being most curious to see how you will hurt yourself. Great, I'll get an anvil, some rocket fuel, and my expandable sponge shorts. <laughs> So, did my feet of amazement and wonder inspire you? Yes! Really? I am inspired! To move to a harder to find cave. Ah! Oh, I think I saw how he changed a light bulb once. Well, that takes skill, right? Nope. 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 Let's forget we saw that. Agreed. Yank out a nose hair and it like completely disappears? Like, where did it go? I can't find it anywhere. Hmm? Yeah. <gasps> you found it! Quick, make a wish! <gasps> What'd you wish for? No, oh, don't tell me or it won't come true! Maybe just a hint. Okay, what was it? I am sure you must be missing your hotel by now. Not really. I'm not going anywhere until you're unblocked. Nothing could get me to leave this cave, even if it takes forever. Okay, how would you like to go for ice cream? Ice cream! <laughs> Wait a second, this isn't ice cream. Soon to be former roommate, this is where you are belonging. Here? Nuh-uh. Like you and your stunts, I've done everything there is to do here. Everything? You name it. For surely you have not ever... Plunged 67 toilets in one day? <laughs> there you are. Impressive. But I am being sure you have never... Found new ways to dry guests when we've run out of clean towels? I love your just out of the dryer fresh scent. Thanks. You missed a spot. But there is being no way. I bet there is. You have ever. Yep. I have. Be filling your entire hotel with melted marshmallow goo. Melted marshmallow? That will explode and cause millions of smelly socks to cover everything. My new big time stunt. I am back. This is gonna be great. Piggy melt many, many marshmallows. Piggy melt anything. Sometimes just with eyes. That's just what I wanted to hear. Except for that last part. <laughs> it's working! Okay, so that's one thing he does here. It's really working! I've got to find something that will explode dirty socks everywhere! <laughs> that's another. Dirk's been in there for almost five minutes. Can he do it? You know Dirk. He always lets us think he's not going to make it, and then... He's only got five seconds left! Ta-da! He emerges unharmed. Three, two, one! And now he comes running out! Or not? Bummer. Fulda! I am back! Another one of Dirk's patented false endings. I fall for it every time. Yeah! <laughs> 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 No! 
There's no way Dirk could have survived. Fooling you again! All part of Dirk Danger's plan! <laughs> Not meaning to do this falling! Guess who? Enough already! We went to commercial 20 seconds ago. Oh. Howie, I want to be thanking you for unblocking my stunting. Okay, time for Dirk to write his name on things. So, I guess we should let the guests back into the hotel now, huh? Let them back? Into the hotel? We were supposed to ask them to leave? Did I not mention that? Sorry about the inconvenience, folks. If any of you need help toweling this stuff off, I'm available. Guest relations! Ah! It's a tough job. You're all packed. And ready to go, my many-armed amigo. Where doggy going? Only to the greatest thing ever. The week-long Dirk Danger, heart-stopping, ear-popping, lunch-spilling, underwear-filling, fantasy camp. Dog's life make Piggy feel sad. Well, I'm off, everyone. By the way, Octo, you're in charge while I'm gone. What? And the toilet in room 237 exploded this morning. So you're going to have your arms pretty full this week. Bye, everyone. <laughs> well, hello, Howie. Shrimp, what are you doing here? You don't know how long I've waited for this day. Ever since I was appointed the Junior Assistant Vice President of the Dirk Danger Fan Club, I've been planning what to say, what to wear. And that's what you chose? Not even your friend's petty jokes can faze me today. For years, I've had to endure you being late to fan club meetings, speaking without having possession of the dirking stick. Don't forget always eating way too many danger bits. Shush, 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 shush. But that is all about to change. This morning, I received an anonymous tip. You've broken Dirk Danger fandom rule number 86.576 slash 27. <gasps> That's right. Manufacturing handmade Dirk Danger figurines without prior written consent from the office of Dirk Danger. Shrimp, I would never, ever, never do something like that. Oh, really? Then what's this? That's not mine. Oh, really? What about this one? No. What about this one? So that's what was itching me. Shrimp, I didn't make that. I don't even know how that got in there. Silence! You're out of the Dirk Danger fan club. <gasps> and you can kiss the Dirk Danger fantasy camp. Goodbye. <sighs> and you're never to have anything to do with Dirk Danger again. <sighs> I'll be taking your Dirk Danger retainer. But my action overbite. <laughs> Toodles, Howard. I can't thank you enough for your anonymous tip, Poodle. And I can't thank you enough for taking away the one thing Howie loves most. His collection of butt-shaped potato chips? No. You see, Batty, with Howie emotionally devastated over the loss of Dirk Danger, it's only a matter of time until he messes up so badly that Daddy will have no choice but to award the Banana Cabana to me. Wait a second. What's this? What is what? Is this your signature? Batty! But, boss, you told me to make these and plant them on Howie. I didn't tell you to sign them. No, I made that part up by myself. I am shocked. So shocked, in fact, that I could crush this. One second here. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Where do you think you're going? I have to go let Howie back into the Dirk Danger fan club. Why? You want him out, I want him out. Let's just keep this our little secret. I can't kick him out for something he didn't do. Howie's back in. Oof. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, shrimp. What are you going to do? Lock me in a cage? Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I brought you your favorite, Fruity Noodle Hut. That bad, huh? Hey, I know what will make you feel better. Tickle, 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 tickle! Tickle, 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 tickle! <laughs> Maybe a magic trick will help you feel better. I will now turn these two pieces of rope into one pieces of rope. <laughs> Howie, I know you're sad not being allowed to have Dirk Danger as your hero anymore, but I... That's it! All you need to do is find a new hero. And you know what? 
I think there may even be someone at this very hotel. Octo, you're a genius. All I need is a new hero, and there is someone who'd be perfect. Really? I'm so excited. Me too. I'm going to go find my new hero, Piggy. I've got to tell him the good news. <laughs> Piggy? <sighs> Awkward. Hey, Piggy. What dog want? Not much. Just to make you my new hero. <laughs> Piggy have no time for Doggy being number one Piggy fan. Come on, Piggy. It'll be great. I want to do everything you do. Doggy peel 1,000 potatoes? Sure. It would be an honor. Good. Dog peel. Piggy go take hero nap. 997, 642, 1,000. Hey, my new hero's back. So, what are we going to do now? Dog steal number one Piggy fan? Of course. Great! Doggy go scrub pot while Piggy visits hero bathroom. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I'm gonna need a new hero. Bunny, I have a job for you. Howie, for the 78th time, I'm not interested in pulling your finger. No, not that. I'm here to make you my new hero. So, what do you say? Do I have to do anything? Nope, you just do what you always do. I'm just gonna watch and cheer you on. I don't know. Please, 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 please. Fine. Great. Oh, yeah. You go, girl. Woo. Oh, yeah. Uh, go. Wow, you're blowing my mind. Oh, that's it. What? I can't be a fan of someone who's so, so girly. Fine. Then give me back my tutu. Duck, good news. I'm being grounded? If by grounded you mean you're going to be my new hero, then yes. You are going to make me a hero? Mmm, a delicious hero sandwich. <laughs> it tickles when you fight. <laughs> I will do it. Great. So where do you want to start? Start? You know, being my new hero. Hero? Mmm, a delicious hero sandwich. <laughs> it tickles when you fight. <laughs> I will do it. So? I am going to my shed. You know what, Duck? I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful hero number one fan relationship. And I'm looking forward to seeing your shed. I don't know why I haven't been in here before. Okay. Oh, is that a... Uh, why is that? Is that moving? Whoa, where would you even get a... I just remembered. Um, I forgot my... You do not want to make me a hero? Hey, Howie. Sloth. So, I hear you're looking for a new hero. Can I try out? You want to be my hero? This is great. I totally forgot about you. Oh? Um... So, when do you want to start? How about now? Great! You're the best! <laughs> really? Uh, and as my first official act as your new hero, I'm going to show you, my new number one fan, why I'm going to be the best hero ever! <gasps> what are we doing at my sister's hotel? I found out who set you up and ratted you out to shrimp. Who? Poodle. Really? That does not sound like my sister. Please, Poodle! <gasps> Quick, in here! Forget it, Batty. I am not pulling your finger. Uh... Howie. Oh, thank goodness. Well, well. What do we have here? What are you waiting for? Get me out of here! Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> I know. Stand back, shrimp. This laser should cut through those bars no problem. Whoa! Sorry, shrimp. Looks like you'll be trapped in there forever. I'm free. Wow, Sloth. That was amazing. I'm so glad you're my new hero. Really? You know, Sloth, I knew from the first moment you asked to be my hero that you and I... Howie, I just wanted to officially apologize. And I want to welcome you back to the Dirk Danger Fan Club. Did you hear that, Sloth? I'm back in the Dirk Danger Fan Club. Howie. I knew from the moment that you first joined the Dirk Danger fan club that you and I... Ew. 
well, uh, we should um, probably get going. Uh, we don't want to miss the Dirk Danger Fantasy Camp. Dirk Danger Fantasy Camp! That's great, Howie. Well, you're off the hook, Sloth. Looks like I won't need you to be my hero after all. Bye! Prisoner Shrimp, here's your flavorless mush. Hey, Howie. Hey, buddy. Buddha! Batty, if this is about your finger again, I'm gonna... What do you three think you're doing? Poodle, you will rue the day you decided to lock me in that cage. <laughs> what do you think a puny little thing like you is gonna do? Oh! What? Are you gonna fire on the Chateau Chateau with exploding outhouses? Hello? Poodle, it's Shrimp. Could you take a little step to your left, please? Thank you! Howie? Ready, set, start! Let them fly, campers! Ooh! Shrimp, hello? Are those outhouses? At least it was my idea. <laughs> Look at that big muddy mess. Now, who wants ice cream? Yes! Oh, it's finally here! It's Lost and Found Day! Octo, huh? wake up! Yeah. It's Lost and Found Day! <laughs> Piggy, wake up! It's Lost and Found Day! Ah. Hey, Duck, it's... Oh. I have always depended on the kindness of strangers. I'll never be able to unsee that. Happy Lost and Found Day, everyone! Uh... Let's just get this over with. My favorite day of the year. <clears throat> Here on Lost and Found Day, we give thanks for things being lost and us finding them and hoping nobody comes and asks for them. Now let us commence the annual handing out of everyone else's stuff. For you, Piggy. Stinky head of cheese for Piggy? <laughs> Perfect. Duck. Ow. 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 All righty. Let's see what's left for old Howie. Looking a little bare. And what do we have here? A harmless little sponge monster, Chuck. Grows in water. The more you add, the bigger it gets. Warning, not to be used indoors. The use of excessive water may result in the truck becoming uncontrollable and dangerous. Also, make sure whatever you do, do not... Boring! Uh, Howie. Octo, check this out. Well, I'm kind of in the middle of... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I swallowed my rubber ducky. <laughs> this is the best thing ever! All right, let's see how this thing runs. Will you stop revving the engine? Sorry, can't hear you. I'm revving the engine. And now, finishing touches for Piggy's big masterpiece. It's so beautiful. Whoops, <laughs> sorry, Piggy. Hey, gelatinous surprise! All right! Piggy very not happy. Golly, I sure am happy. Gee, you said it. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right! All day. Forever. Hello, checking in? Yes. I'm so glad you have an open room. I've already been asked to leave every other hotel in town. Every hotel? Why? Sometimes, when I fall asleep, I tend to kind of, um... Create a path of terror. Path of terror? <laughs> You're so little. How could you create a path of terror? <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, I get it now! <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, great. Listen, Howie, this beaver wants to check in, but I don't know if that's such a good idea. He seems to be an uncontrollable sleep eater. Whoa, he's gonna wreck the whole hotel. Hmm, we're gonna have to keep him awake so he doesn't do any more damage. 
Another problem solved. I'll help you, Howie. Great. Thanks, Sloth. We're going to have so much fun, you're never going to fall asleep again. But I just want to go to my room. Hush now. No more words. <sighs> okay, bad start. Howie. Oh, hey, everyone. You're ruining the hotel. The kitchen. The lobby. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Oh, right. I want you to get rid of that truck right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just calm down here. This is a lot of information to take in all at once. Let me just take a quick ride to clear my head. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Tana! Tunnels! <laughs> Sheesh! A little damage to the hotel and they go ballistic. This truck is completely safe. Nothing would ever make me believe that it isn't. Oh, yay! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Whoops. Look out! <laughs> Huh? No! Don't worry! Uh, hi -oh! What if everyone's right about the truck? I've got to get rid of this thing. Good call, dude! Ah! <laughs> hey, Howie. Guys, you were right. This monster truck is doing a lot of damage, so I've decided to let it dry up here. Then it will shrink to normal size and everything will be good again. Right. Hey, Excellent, right. Howie! <laughs> I want a refund! Wow, what a mess. Things sure do get out of control when I leave for a while. We should probably tidy up. No more tunnels? Great idea, Duck. Thanks for volunteering, buddy. You're the best. Ooh. Hey, you beaver. How's your stay going so far? Can I please go take a nap in my room now? Sure, no problem. Sleep well, my friend. Howie. <laughs> oh, right, the whole trail of carnage thing. Beaver, wait! I almost forgot. It's showtime! Showtime? No, all! He's the best. Now that is true. I appreciate it, but... I know. Everyone appreciates what I do. Look out! He's gonna blow! <laughs> Water! This next song is a classic. I wrote it, produced it, arranged it. I remember when I first came up with the concept. I also played the harpsichord. The album, by the way, is available for sale at the door and by way of download from my website, ilovenarwhal.com. I got this. I did it! The concept was a simple one. I also played the violin, piano, and guitar. The concept, the concept, drums also. I remember when I came up with the concept, keyboards. I thought what would happen if birds and bees really were in love. I also play the kazoo. All right, troops, I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but since we have no choice, on my command, hook! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, retreat! <laughs> Time for plan B! Mm. I always love it when Plan B is strawberry flavored. Time for Plan C! Ooh! I think it's working! <gasps> truck mad! Piggy like truck! That's it! I've had just about enough out of you! Nobody destroys my hotel! Except maybe Duck. Really? Oh! Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. This next one's a serious one. It's a tragic tale of a donkey, some bubblegum, and a malamute. So, you think you've won, huh? Well, I'll never give up. Never! I give up. Wow! All right, Chuck, it's you or me. <laughs> My pipes are as powerful as ever, baby. Still got it! Well, it's 
that's the world's problem now. Maybe they'll be able to stop the truck someday. Maybe they won't. The important thing is that they don't trace it back to me. So from now on, I'm from a small village near Cartagena, and my name is Vesquez de la Pompadour. <laughs> don't worry, guys. I'm okay. Sorry about the hotel, Howie. Woo! It was my voice. But at least the cabana was broken with beauty. I'm sorry. I have no idea who this Howie is. My name is Vasquez de la Pompadour. <gasps> <gasps> and the Vasquez has no idea how the monster truck got here. <laughs> Guys, he's chomping again. We better stop him before he chomps through. The whole truck? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Huh? No! no! What's going on here? Beaver, go back to sleep. Yeah, I'm not tired anymore. Plus, it's kind of scary in here. I'll get that beaver asleeping again, or my name isn't Vesquez de la Pompadour. But that's not your name. You can really bring an hombre down sometimes, you know that? I know. Beaver, meet sheep. Sheep, prepare to be counted. Seriously. You know, sheep can do other things than just be counted. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that worked out great. Well, I guess it was a pretty successful lost and found day. I guess that depends on how you define successful. You know what would cap this day off nicely? A song! This, this next, next song was an instant smash. smash. I produced it, arranged it, I also wrote it. I remember laying it down, down one ball may win it. I also played the ukulele. I remember the recording session well. Did I mention drums? Did I mention my website? I love Noah.com. Keep that in mind. Okay, you crazy banana cabananians. What's on the adventure bill for today? <laughs> I'm sweating like a pig. Oh, piggy scoop. Uh, never mind, too hot. I need an air conditioner. What are you talking about? It's totally comfortable. That's easy for you to say, Mr. Ice Pants. <laughs> it's like a swamp in here. The all fanciful and gracious Poodle requests your presence at the Chateau Chateau. My sister asked to see me. Why? To witness the awarding of... Ah, it's like a swamp in here. Told you. It overwhelming. Must get to the Chateau. Need air conditioning. Air, air conditioning. conditioning. We should stampede. <laughs> Can't feel my brain. And finally, Monsieur Critique, the masterpiece of my hotel, the fountain. That's French for the fountain. Tis a great honor to present the Chateau Chateau with a six-star rating out of five. <laughs> Find a wall to hang these stars on, Batty. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, what's that stench? I'm here. You miss me? Howie, I thought I smelled you and the ew crew. Your foul scent always makes me. Gesundheit. <laughs> hey, nice star, sis. So, what exactly did you need? Need? From you? <laughs> I invited you and your stinky friends here only to show you how a real hotel gets stars. I get stars all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I've arranged for Monsieur Critique to star rate your hotel. Bonjour. Tomorrow. That soon? Thanks, sis. You're not very bright, are you? When? Daddy says that if the Banana Cabana doesn't receive at least a one star rating, your hotel will be shut down, put out of business, mindies. Oh no, if we lose the hotel, where will we live? If we lose hotel, where, Piggy Coop? If we lose the hotel, where will I pout about not having air conditioning? Sounds good to me. So what are the chances of you lending us a star since you have an extra? <laughs> <laughs> you laugh so weird. Howie, don't you get it? Daddy gave you a hotel. Uh -huh. I want your hotel. Roger that. I'm going to take your hotel. Woo! Way over my head. I'm bored of this conversation. Batty? <laughs> How do you always
always know exactly what I want you to do when I call your name. It's a gift. <laughs> 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 Bun, the cabana isn't that hot. Oh, yeah. What's the stuff? Okay. Now, what are a few things we can spruce up around here to get that star? Any ideas? Anyone? No one. Nothing? Really? No one. Yes, you. Can I get a towel? Uh, we don't have those. Isn't it simply laughable, Batty? How he actually believes he has a chance at getting a star for that shack he calls a hotel. <laughs> well, he'll have to... Huh? <laughs> Come, Batty. We have maniacal and fancy things to do. Hello? Duck? You're not Poodle. What are you still doing at the Chateau? Howie, how did you get inside this thingy? Ow! 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 Duck, I'm not inside the telephone. Uh, never mind. Ooh, we need Poodle's help to get a star. So while you're over there, be a pal and do whatever she says. Okay, buddy? Okay, buddy. Anything she needs. Got it. Thanks, Duck. Can I talk to Poodle now? Hey! You can't be in this office. <laughs> Duck, are you there? What's going on? The stars are aligning. Great. Not sure what that means, so can I just talk to Poodle? Once Howie loses the cabana to me, I'll never have to hear his whiny voice again. Gesundheit, <laughs> it's for you. Hello. Poodle, question. How does one go about getting a star? Because <laughs> I got, like, no stars. <laughs> Howie, I want you to fail badly. Why would I help you? Because you want to? Nope. Because you need to? Nope. Because we're related? Don't remind me. Please, Poot, tell me what I have to do. I'll do anything you say. Anything! Well, if you're really foolish enough to take my advice... Oh, I am. I am! You should be rude to all your guests. Be rude? Are you sure? Yes, of course. Guests simply love it when you're rude to them. Why, I'm rude with you, aren't I? I am. I'm terribly rude to you. Okay, I'll try. Thanks, Poo. Dull. Poo dull. Ta ta, darling. I'm gonna regret asking. But what did Poodle say, Howie? <laughs> Sit on it, eight arms. What's wrong with you, dog? <laughs> Besides your cooking. I'm confused. <laughs> Tell us something we don't already know, Bunny. Wow, you're being so rude. Ha! That was Poodle's advice, and I completely trust her for some strange and nonsensical reason. Oh. Help Poodle look rude. Help Poodle look rude. Ah. <clears throat> May I? Why, thank you. Yoink. That was very rude. You are welcome. I tell you, this meal is simply one. <laughs> This stays between us. Agreed. Gotta be rude, gotta be rude, gotta be rude. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, nice tie, buddy. Many thanks to you, sir. Poodle was right. Guests really do enjoy being verbally assailed. I have to call her. <laughs> now what, sis? Huh, huh? If you thought being rude worked well, try filling your swimming pool with rancid gravy. Go make gravy on it. More of a ketchup then, huh? Not bad. Now what, sis? Huh? Huh? Well, you should also try hanging all of your furniture on the ceiling. Furniture ceiling, check. Whoa. Something has gone terribly wrong. What could possibly be worse than ruining my beauty sleep? Ruining your hotel? Okay, that's worse. There are still a few cans of paint left in storage. Ah, uh, there were a few cans of paint left in storage. This is the worst hotel I've ever stayed at. No, I won't. 
Your rancid gravy pool gave me a rash and I fell off a lounge chair. But how did, how did, Howie? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Gesundheit. Hi. We're mad at you, Howie. But I forgive you. Lately, you only seem to care about the hotel. I'm sad to say that you've turned into... into... Poodle? Aw, uh, that's sweet. You know, No, I, I mean Poodle! <laughs> Ever hear of a tissue? Oh, hey, Pood. Is your guy here to rate the hotel now? Because I should probably tell him off first, right? You may have destroyed my hotel. Huh? And you may have stolen my stars. What? But I now have something of yours. Ta-da! Duck? <gasps> Thank goodness you're safe. He owes me money. Unless you return my stars, your precious duck will be working. No, make that toiling for me. Let me see if I can fit you in. How is your Tuesday looking? I want my stars! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Don't you stand there, buddy! Help me! <laughs> I have finished rating the Banana Cabana. This establishment is a complete dive. But what about all our hard work? None of that stuff helped because it was work. And it was hard. However, it does have a certain homey-ish feel. Homey-ish? You call this place homey-ish? Ha! The hotel is a dump! I mean, they don't even have air conditioning. It's as hot as a swamp in here! Uh, pardon me, but I happen to be from the swamp. And since you no longer have a hotel, you can't have any stars. You know, my family is coming to town this weekend, and our reservations at the chateau have suddenly fallen apart. Well, guys, looks like we don't need that air conditioner after all. Oh. Ain't it great? Oh, this is marvelous. Enjoying your stay with us, sis? There's a fly in my beverage. Hey. Let us know if there's anything else you need. We should stay here every time our hotel gets destroyed. Cannonball! Ah! Gesundheit. 